Hey guys, so I am here today with the strobing glowy skin tutorial as I promised. And uh, I briefly, I posted a picture to Instagram a couple of weeks ago and everybody went nuts and asked what was on my face and what was on my skin. So I figured I'd just do a tutorial on how I created that look. What I had on my face that day was the Glossier products. Now, if you haven't heard of the brand, it is created by Emily Weiss, who is also the founder of Into the Gloss. Uh, which I've been a fan for years. I've been reading that website. I've been on it for ages. And when she created the line, I was so eager to try it. I call it like, you know how wardrobe, you have your basics, like your leather jacket, your boots, you know, your essentials. That's how I feel about this line. Like everything is just base essentials and perfect for the everyday girl like myself. Now Glossier was kind enough to give me a coupon code for you guys and I will put it down below. Uh, you get free shipping and a free little uh, bomb.com with any purchase that you make. So the code is good until September 30th so which is why I told you guys to wait and if you wanted to buy something now's the time to get it because you get one of these little guys which I will talk about briefly. Now I cleansed my skin and I used their moisturizing moon mask which all you do it's a cream you put it on for 20 minutes allow it to just soak in and do its job and then wash it off rinse it off and it's extremely hydrating it plumps up the skin really nice and I absolutely adore the cute little packaging on it now they do have a priming moisturizer and I've spoken about this briefly like I mentioned it in my favorites and stuff I've been using it since I got it but it's 10 times better than the embryo lease I much rather prefer I prefer this one so just gonna take a little bit of that and really work it into the skin now the big uh, I should say feature the main thing that I give this look down to are their skin tints. Now this makes me think of like MAC face and body. It has that same watery base texture, but something in this, like I don't even need, I don't need to set this with powder. It doesn't come off. It just, I can't even describe the, what it does for my skin. It kind of it minimizes my pores and I don't get shiny or oily throughout the day, but I do keep that dewiness to my skin and it just evens me out so they released two darker shades because a lot of you were asking on my Instagram if they were and they have released deep and rich I'm in the shade dark typically if I wasn't tanned uh, because of the summer I'd be a medium or I can mix the two of them which is what I like about them but you have to really shake it up and I've been using the Sigma, what is it, the 3D HD Kabuki brush. And one, I'm using it so I don't get my fingers dirty in this video. But I do like the way this buffs this into the skin. So I just literally paint it on like this <laughs> onto my face. I find that that's the easiest way to just get it on my skin without making a mess. Then I'm just going to take the brush and literally push it into the skin and just buff it in. And what I like about this is that it is buildable, so if you want a little bit of more coverage in certain areas you can, but this isn't going to cover scars or hyperpigmentation or anything like that, which is why I say if you have a really good concealer, you don't have to worry about that. The concealer I'm going to use today is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just because this also is light and I don't mind if some of my blemishes peek through or discoloration or anything like that. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to things like that. Work 
it under the eye. Now for some added definition and not, it's not very stark, but I'm going to contour slightly with the deepest shade and this is in the shade Rich. I'm going to shake that a little bit. And what's cool about this is because it has that small squeezy tip tube, I can really get in, you know, the hollows of my cheeks without overdoing it. So draw a stripe like that, which looks scary, but you're going to take that kabuki brush and just work it in. See, and it's not, it's nothing crazy. It just defines the cheekbones just ever so slightly to the high points of my forehead where the sun would hit. And this buff, or this buff, <laughs> this brush really buffs, you know, the product in. So I don't have to worry about looking like a clown or anything like that. Okay, now that the skin is somewhat finished, I'm just going to let it settle for a little bit and apply some of the bomb.com on my lips. Now this, you can use it. I use it on my cuticles. Uh, it's perfect for when you have dry patches and, you know, you don't know what to do and you're in a pinch. But mainly it's been my lip balm of choice. And they also do, here I'll show you. They also do a coconut version, which is, it smells amazing. But then this is the unscented version of it. So now that day I didn't really do anything to my eyes other than curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. So I'm gonna use my shoe Uramura, or Umura, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure in this tiny little mirror. I should have brought a different mirror, but I'm just going to curl my lashes. And the key here is that you want them to look as natural as possible. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara, which I use probably since I started YouTube, I think. I love this mascara and I've tried so many different ones and nothing, it just doesn't compare. If they do clump together, I have this lash comb from Sephora. Uh, I know they sell them everywhere for like a dollar, even like the plastic ones. I'm going to use the MYX brow pencil, or the micro brow pencil. And I'm just going to brush them up, because that's how I wore them in that picture. I kind of shape them a little bit, but... The more natural they look, the better. That's why I said I didn't really fill them in all too much. Like I have a sparse area up here, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the skin and I did a lot of strobing. And this is the uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And this is that sample pot that I had, but I just put it in this Chanel pot that I had laying around so it wouldn't dry out but I'm just going to take it on my middle finger and literally put it on all over my face my nose on the cupid's bow on the center of my bottom lip put some on the center of my chin here and then I also add it in the center of my forehead whatever I have left on my finger I just blend that into almost like a triangle shape right here and then right here at the high points of my brows like over top I add a little tiny bit as well now I am going to add a little bit of cream blush and for this I'm going to use my all time favorite which is the Jouer Tints. This one is in the shade Petal which is an everyday like a muted like a pinky with brownie undertones to it. It's just really like a natural flush of color and I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques stippling brush. 
and I dab this right where I would naturally flush and I just use this to give some color back into the skin but that's pretty much it that's I won't go more than that on my lips I just had this Kors or Kores I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand but this is their lip butter in jasmine which is like a milky pink and I only apply just a tiny amount over top of the bomb.com So once that's all done, I go in with their Soothing Face Mist, and this is a rose water spray. One, it smells amazing, and two, it just sets everything. And it's just so refreshing. So I like to pop this in the fridge and just, when I, I take it to the pool with me or something like that, but even as like a midday refresher. So this is the final look. It, literally takes me like five minutes to do and these products are so awesome that I can just do this and not worry about touching up throughout the day. I will toss the rose water spray in my bag with me and just spritz it if I feel like I need things to mesh well but even as throughout the day it wears even better to me at least the skin tint. Stay tuned for next week's uh, videos and I will see you then. Bye.